re le ka go dira gore batho ba nagane tše di gahlago Christ ge le shetse le bontšhitse go theletsa Christ ka mogwa wo o phetegilego re na re tla ba re itukisheditse go otla mang le mang yo a sa theletsego for though we walk in the flesh we do not war according to the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God for pulling down the strongholds casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Praise the Lord. Good news. It is true that we live in the world, but we do not fight from worldly motives. The weapons we use in our fight are not the world's weapons, but God's powerful weapons which we use to destroy the strongholds. We destroy false arguments. We pull down every proud obstacle that is raised against the knowledge of God. We take every thought captive and make it obey Christ. And after you have proved your complete loyalty, we will be ready to punish any act of disloyalty. <laughs> Go bane le ge re sepela re le nameng ba re hlabane senama marumo a tlhabano ya rena ga se ya nama ke a matla ka modimo a sholalanya dibo re sholalanya mano le go iphagamisha gohle go shiteletsa go tsebo ya modimo re tshwara ra tlema menagano gore e kwe Kriste go me re tukisetse go go sola go sekwe ka moka ge mo go lena go kwa ele go kwa ka moka holy bible for though we walk in the flesh we are not waging war according to the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh but have divine power to destroy strongholds we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of god and take every thought captive to obey Christ, being ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is complete. Message, Bible. The world is unprincipled. It is dog, eat, dog, out there. The world does not fight fair, but we do not live or fight our battle that way. Never have and never will. The tools of our trade are not for marketing or manipulating, but they are for demolishing that entire massive corrupt culture. We use our powerful God's tool for smashing wrapped philosophies, tearing down barriers, erected against the truth of God, fitting every loose thought and emotion and impulse into the structure of life shaped by Christ. Our tools are ready at hand for clearing the ground of every obstruction and building lives of obedience into maturity. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. So when you hear about the war which we are in fighting against the spiritual forces, <laughs> the rulers of this dark world, the powers of this world and against the principalities. When you try to think 
by yourself. You can see that really when you don't have Jesus Christ, you will never fight against this dark world. If you don't have Jesus Christ, you can't fight against darkness. But it's only when you have Jesus Christ where now it's possible for us to fight against darkness and darkness runs away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. So, ask this question. Who will stand when the spirits are busy fighting against us? So, who will stand and have the victory of Jesus Christ when the principalities are fighting against you? Jesus Christ says only those who are standing by his name if we stand by the name of Jesus whether they are principalities the rulers the powers of this world we know that we will stand and we will fight against this dark world hallelujah Amen. praise the Lord Jesus. so in this teaching when you'll be knowing the cruelty of the darkness kingdom. And then on the side of the kingdom of Jesus, you will see and hear the love of the living God and the love of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are now in another time which Jesus Christ is pulling down the darkness kingdom. Removing it forcefully. Destroying the tools of the devil. And we are in this time. And when we are in this time, when Jesus Christ is removing darkness, we have to know that is also in this time which we will see and know more grace from Jesus Christ. The more you go through persecution, the more Jesus has prepared grace for you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Amen. Amen. He has prepared the grace for you. So, this principality are very cruel because they fight against us. We were not knowing them, but Jesus Christ is exposing them. This is a time of the exposure of the darkness kingdom. This is a time of the embarrassment of the devil's kingdom. That is why in the darkness kingdom they say, even when people are knowing about their kingdom, they mustn't talk about what they've seen or what they've heard. But it's not us, it's Jesus Christ who is embarrassing darkness. Because now is the time for the darkness kingdom to crawl down. Now is the time for the strong holes of the darkness to be removed. Now is the time hey, for the strength of the darkness to be taken away. Say amen. Glory to Jesus. 
but only those who are standing by the name of Jesus they will stand and they will remain. If you don't have the name of Jesus, you will fall with the darkness kingdom. You will crawl with the darkness kingdom. You will crawl together with it. So, Jesus Christ already disarmed six principalities. You can see that really, if now six of them are disarmed, can't you see that the power of darkness, the power of triple six, is disarmed? Jesus. There were seven. Baba Lishu Pamarena. Jesus Christ confirmed in the last month, November. Jesus Christ, I need to find a way to fit in November. That also Bambo. Urli Bambo. Has fallen down. We, Liliana. Hallelujah. But you and me. Look at yourself, what happened? Bambo was the enemy of the truth. The enemy of success. The enemy of development. The enemy of blessings. The enemy of riches. The enemy of all good things. When I say Bambo, know that there is a human being, the real human being, and again, there was an image from the darkness kingdom. So, now, only the one who is a human being is left. But the one from darkness kingdom is gone. Hallelujah, Jesus. How many wars which you fought when Bambo was waking against us. That one was having another character, the cruel one. World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. principalities who are working together with low-level class spirits which are found here on earth. I mean the spirits which are operating when they are in a human being. So, this is how the spirits work against a human being. I said, I'm going to take the two principalities, how they are connecting with other spirits, again connecting with the spirits from the space, but to destroy you. Jesus. I know that many you have heard me talking about principality called Bambo. 
I gave you some of the things that how this man is operating, working, or saving in the darkness kingdom. Lived five years under the water before conceived. Which means the image from the darkness kingdom and with the original human being. The human being who is stolen by the darkness, look the cruelty of the darkness preparing this spirit for five years, whereas the natural one was not yet born. Bonafella Bohopo Balififi. So, this one worked so quickly by destroying, killing, and when this spirit and image from the darkness is under the water, not that they are training him many evil things. Killing, destroying all evil. Seba ho has spirit is an anasil can so catlas of hometi, se catlas at training se a rudo, se bulaya se destroyer says and tosen at them big of faith. Like what we hear when the people are coming from initiation under the water. Zoloka ha rudo abato, haba rebato initiation e catlas of hometi. That is another department. But this one was being trained as a principality. He killed all his relatives, all his parents. He killed many people. Restoration service for world peace by Jesus Christ. I've decided and then I made a prayer and I told Jesus and then I said, Jesus, I don't want to hear about Bambo anymore. I have to tell you the truth. A few years because I was so tired about the evil things, the plans against us, evil plans against the whole world, evil plans against me. Then I said, hey. Then I said, Jesus, when you are done with him, you will tell me. Then I said, Jesus, I'm a human being. You know, I can't cope hearing all these evil plans. How many people whom you have lost? How many people who ran away from you? How many people who rejected you? Because that was the strategies of Bambo. Because he says, those who are worshipping the great, great one, following the shining one, if they are still calling the name of the shining one, he said, will make sure that he is cutting the resources, cutting the relationship, cutting all the connections with other people wanted only those who are following the shining one, they must remain in the island. 
And he said he wants to see if when you will be not having money, you will still say, mm -hmm. and when in your home, your children ran away from you, hey, are you still going to say, hey. and when you are fired in your work, are you still going to say, hey. if you are still in Christ, clap your hands for yourself. Jesus. Hey! Hallelujah. The enemy of the Blessings, good things. Has fallen. Jesus. Now we are no longer saying the walls of Jericho. We are saying that the walls of Bambo. So the principalities are human beings. They are the Antichrist. They are against the kingdom of God. They are against Jesus. So, they are human beings. And but Jesus Christ came and died for Jesus human beings. But look now when the human beings now are the enemy of Jesus Christ. So, all these principalities in seven continents Number one continent, Africa. Continent, the Africa. principality is already gone. Jesus Christ is the And uh, his name was Ogenzo. Do you still remember Ogenzo? Ogenzo yeah. And again, the continent of Europe, continent Dragoza, Dragoza disarmed. And again, the continent of Asia, Reza, disarmed. The continent of North America. North America. Disarmed. I mean, the one who was leading the, the continent of uh, North America. Zantram. 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 And again, the one who was controlling all islands. Danger. Disarmed. Danger. And now the one who was controlling South America. You have allowed South America. Bambo. Bambo. Disarmed. Ah, Lena, disarmed. Hallelujah. Jesus. So we are left now with one principality. Principality number seven. His name is Raidizaria. The one who is controlling the North Pole you are and the pole South, pole. The South pole. This is the place which is full of ice. So this one has taken the character of Lucifer himself. Because he destroys, but when he is so soft, when he is so soft, but he will destroy you. He works by deception. He has taken the character of Lucifer. He deceives. So the spirit of Rai Zaria has entered now into the Christians. Why? Because people now are compromising the word of God. When they want the word of God to nurse 
they are seen. In other words, they are preaching the word of God, but diluted one and diverted one, being brush brush, being decorated by their things. That is the spirit of Rai Desaria. You can open your eyes, you will see the spirit. In the churches, you will see this kind of spirit. Where people are no longer standing by the word of God and by the name of Jesus. They say Jesus plus our things. Jesus Christ plus. You see, when you are saying plus, you are not shouting. Hi, Jesus. Jesus Christ and something. We just add something. A little bit. Just add a little bit to this Jesus. And also, mm -hmm. you find that also those who are called so pastors, <laughs> when you are going to receive prayer, they said, no, if you want prayer for deliverance, you pay so much. <laughs>